This video shows how the Sterling Transformation Extender Pack for Healthcare supports HIPAA data compliance. Since the last HIPAA mandate, the scope of expectation for HIPAA data compliance has grown considerably. To be successful, most organizations will need to be able to validate and process not just the core HIPAA mandated transactions, but also the supporting transactions, other associated transactions used in a modern healthcare payments infrastructure. HIPAA data validation is typically described in terms types numbered from one to seven. These types were defined by WEDI or the Work Group for Electronic Data Interchange. WEDI SNP1 simply means the data will conform to the base X12 standard for the transaction type, not be constrained by the HIPAA loop structure and rules. The same data could also be validated to type two, meaning that it conforms to the basic looping structure and segment content of the HIPAA TR3. Type three or balancing adds requirements to perform checking that a value in the details of the transaction matches the sum of that data. Type four adds requirements for checking that data across segments follow the rules in the implementation guide. Type five is external code checking. Here we're looking to see if the value in a data field matches an allowed published value. The ITX HIPAA data compliance utility supports both code lookups and pattern matches. To understand how type six rules are processed, I like to think of them in two parts. First, there's the main rule you are enforcing. Secondly, you need to determine whether the claim involves this line of service. Type seven can be anything and everything else and is determined by mutual partner agreement. These are often expressed in documents called companion guides. We hope you look to us to find out more information about ITX HIPAA data compliance for your validation requirements.